hello, hello. We should have Molly say it. Are we on? Yes. Hello, 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 y'all. She was afraid to say the y'all. Look, Molly's here. You were briefly in the other video that I haven't uploaded yet. But you see me. This is, um, ow, this is a video because we're doing potato candy because we had potato candy at Dollywood and ever since I mentioned potato candy a couple weeks ago about Thanksgiving food, I had lots of requests for potato candy video. So this is it. So this works well because she wanted to do it and eat it and I wanted to do it. So Molly is from Boston. So why don't you, Tony, and you can talk too. Tony's here. He's filming. You can speak. Yeah, I'm They're here. used to I'm your here. voice. Like, he's so shy. I'm here. I um, am. Molly, I brought Molly Tell them how this excited that, yeah. you heard that Molly's here. Molly's here in my home, y'all, and I'm so excited. We've been staying at the Dream More, which they mm. know. They saw that. I am so excited Molly is here, and I actually had just said to her she leaves in, like, just, you know, about 14 hours from now. We're not talking about that. Okay, while well, y'all chat, I'm, and I'm cutting up a potato, a couple potatoes. It's not rocket science on the potatoes, but we're going to boil well, them. Well, Molly can help. You can help. I can help, I mean, yes. I'm not, not used to having people who are not complete idiots in the kitchen. I turned it down because that was the flames of Haiti. <laughs> are you there? Are we live? Okay, we so should have gone live doing this. What, what this is, potato candy is a traditional southern delicacy. It was uh, I feel created. like Molly is one of Nancy's friends. Who? Like when Nancy has her friends that she stays with. Oh, this with. is like that, yeah. <laughs> so, do you want to Who's be Nancy? a big helper for Uncle Tyler and start yes, peel, I, peeling these I potatoes? Can't do that. Okay. Where would you like me to peel them into? Just into the trash can or uh, oh, a disposal? Yeah, but don't because I peeled a lot of potatoes in the disposal at Thanksgiving and it kind of got clogged. Gotcha. So let's do it into the trash. So. Potato candy was invented during the Depression when times were hard, just like the song, okay? What song is that from? Times is hard. Yes, what's that from? Sweeney Todd. Sweeney We've talked Todd. about Sweeney Todd half the night, haven't we? Yeah, we have. So potatoes. <laughs> I think that's like full circle moments. Too. Everybody had potatoes in the Depression, not everybody, but I guess they were readily available. Maybe it started in Ireland with the Great Famine. No, it started because of the Depression. Right, but that's what the Great Famine was around the same time. No, Tony. Scholar behind the camera. <laughs> Historian. Okay, so we're peeling the potatoes. And the ones that we had at Dollywood were good, but I will be interested to get Molly's take and your take on if these are better. I liked the Dollywood ones. The Dollywood, one, Dollywood ones were good, but didn't you think they had a potato scent? They definitely Well, yeah, aren't potatoes. they supposed to? No, not so at all. So what is the idea of potato the idea candy is that it's, it's just the molding agent? Like it's okay, just... nothing molds. But you know what I mean by that? Like it's used to like it's just like a bind binder. it all together. It's like a that's, binder. Yeah, that's what I meant. Well, not molding. Um, so the potato, it, this is not potatoes with like salt, pepper, and butter. This is just potatoes. Like you just need boiled, boiled, boiled potatoes. You mash them up. It's like mashed potatoes without any ingredients. Thank you, darling. And into that goes mountains full Stop. I didn't. Oh, I thought you were going on my outfit. Mountainfuls <laughs> of powdered sugar and then peanut butter. So you'll see as we go. So right now we've got water boiling. I'm going to cut up these potatoes. We're going to get them in the pan, a pan of boiling water. And again, I don't know time wise, but roughly probably about 15 minutes because I'm going to cut them up pretty small. And <clears throat> I've got my powdered sugar at the ready. And by that I mean it's in the cabinet. And. So, Tony's being a good helper right now. He's filming. That's all I need him to do. Molly, have you enjoyed your time here in Tennessee? Oh. 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 <laughs> See, it's live, live stuff like that, folks. Say that for the blooper reel. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have enjoyed it. She goes, oh! <laughs> As it gets Don't worry, there's just all kinds of cat hair in there. <laughs> Wash it. We did wash it. <laughs> uh, have you enjoyed your time? I have. Yeah. We have done. Wa we. I feel like we've done nothing but eat. Folks. I. That's all I've done. Well, but I mean, typical. Isn't that, isn't that kind of the point? When well, I said to her, to, when "What did Rome I say to you today? What? what did I say to You're you today, Molly? Uh, anytime I'm, I'm around you, I'm especially hungry." <laughs> you said that to her. Yeah. <laughs> He's like something about you just makes me want to eat. Sure, yeah, that's fine. General. Maybe it's just me with anybody that like. I think I equate like affection with starch. Well, I think it's a very uh, Italian know, I think when thing. People, well, I don't even know. I was gonna say southern, so oh I God. think it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, it's just so just slippery. Did you just clean out the litter box. <laughs> I did not. I hope not. Okay, I don't clean out the litter box in the kitchen trash can. <laughs> we can create a cat with all that hair. So. Okay, so I'm making probably way too many potatoes, but I had a big I had a big bag of potatoes that needed to be used from Thanksgiving anyway. So again, it's not rocket science. What else would you like to say about your trip? Yeah, why don't we detail what we've been doing? Molly leaves. Yeah, she, Molly, you get on your flight at eleven o'clock tomorrow. You've only been here since late Saturday, Saturday night. Yeah. yeah, and it's Monday evening. We started off at Waffle House. Which place? Yep, great meal. <laughs> Waffle House is great. There was like a wedding going on there, I think. No, right? some sort of cotillion. Some sort of like a quinceanera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think it was quinceanera. quinceanera. Yeah. Remember when Libby and Kevin came and they were like, oh, don't worry, we used some coffee cups that we found and they used these and I was like, those were for display. Wait, I thought, I thought that was Molly and No, Mary. it was Kevin and, no. Oh. It was Kevin and Libby. Are you sure you're not just trying to make Molly like, no, oh, her I promise. feel bad. Like, I was like, well, whatever, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that would be something you'd do. Like, I don't want to upset Molly, make her think she did something stupid. And then Kevin was, was, and saying. then he was trying to, like, fix the blinds. And remember that he ripped them down? I do remember that. And I was like, it's fine. <laughs> I do love these, though. I have some. Well, I've been to, oh. Alma Mater. Where did we get that one? Was that in the Daniel airport? Hall. Oh, little Dun. cat hair. Yeah. Okay, so we're just boiling the potatoes. Would you like to look at the potatoes? So what else have we been doing? We went to Waffle House. We ate. We got. Oh, Tony, tell I, I gave them a rundown of the show fiasco. I really but don't want to talk about. Would you like to tell it? Molly in your can own tell. Words. No, Tony, why don't you tell it? You were the one who was really. Go on. He was really in, in a moment. You want me to get him? Get his side of the story. Oh, God. I'm going to have to put this part on fast forward. The following is a dramatic monologue. I'll edit this out from later. The life of me. No, actually, I'm, I, <clears throat> we had a wonderful. You're like, I'm going to tell my story. We had a short afternoon at Dollywood, and then Molly and Tyler came. I got them in. I do three shows a day, typically a 4.45, a 6.45, and an 8.15. If you all come yeah. out, come to the show towards the night before Christmas. And unfortunately, it get canceled. unfortunately, they went to go see a different show at 4.45, at 5, and with all of great intentions to come to my 6.45, we had reserved them seats. I came out to meet them to go walk around for a little bit. At 6.20 or so, I get a text saying that the rest of the evening's performances had been canceled due to stuff that was going on backstage. Um, and... I was devastated. I was so sad. He really was. I mean, he was really, like Valerie like, Cherish. I guess apparently. Why don't you reenact that? <laughs> I get. I tend to like when real things like that happen. I tend to shut down for a, a brief moment, and then kind of like I don't know exactly how it came off. But I was really devastated. I mean, was you flew bad. to see. You seemed to see me, but like that's a huge part of why you were there was to see me at work. It's not wrong. I was so sad. I still, it's a very tough subject actually, folks. So there you go. Molly did not get to see me in my star turn as a mouse trying to ruin Christmas. Fatty, fatty, two by four. Can't get you so to double. So we door. did try to make the best of it though. Kiss her. Mm -mm. Give her a kiss. She doesn't want my kiss. Oh, what a sweet kid. Did you see what she just did? Just like, she literally backed away. Well, so yeah, that's what happened. What about the angel? Hail, favored one. These cats are famous on this channel. Don't speak. She can sense evil. See, look how she crin she just She's like her ears go back. She doesn't like me. Oh, but well, she did nothing. Give her dirty kiss. See, she doesn't even want to kiss me. Something's boiling. Something's bubbling. I guess that was probably how I reacted yesterday, wasn't it? What the boiling water? Do That's Tony. Do how I react. Okay, folks. So we're gonna boil these for a long time until they're mashing consistency. Once that happens, we're gonna get them in the bowl. We're gonna mash them, and then we'll be back with them. I bet. We should just keep.
keep it going, frankly. We live? Well, we are. We're not live, but yes, you get the idea. Okay, so these have reached the consistency where they can be easily mashed. I'm going to cut the heat off and drain them. Now, again, this is a lot, and I looked at my powdered sugar stash, and I don't have a ton. So, that's going to be way too many. So, I'm going to say that we're going to start with like a half cup of mashed potatoes when all is said and done. So, I'm going to put these back into the pot, dry, and we are going to use a hand mixer to blend them up, and then we'll be back. The steam. Oh. Oh! Relaxing video. Learn this too. Well, okay, we going? Molly just asked. I need to look and see how you're doing this so I can do it. Well, it's all kind of based on judgment. So we're gonna put the potatoes in here now. Don't get freaked out because what's gonna happen when we start putting the powdered sugar in? It's gonna turn to liquid. It's very weird, and I don't know why it does. So mashed potatoes? Yes. Hi. Now are you gonna make this for sugar. Christmas, Molly? Mm-hmm. Now again, I have some residual powdered sugar bags everywhere. I don't know how much I'm gonna add exactly. You just add it until it becomes a big, stiff dough, like a kneadable dough. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like the consistency of pie crust almost. So look, come here. When you start doing this, there's half a cup of mashed potatoes and about a couple cups of powdered sugar. See how it like liquefies? Whip your hair, whip your hair. We may be having to make a trip to the Dollar General for more powdered sugar if we don't have it. Really? Egg. Well, I don't know. I don't have. Well, yeah, I've got quite a bit. So then well, you just. We don't keep, want a shirk. You just keep adding. Oh, that's a lot. Oh no, that's. I mean, this. And, and here's the reason behind the peanut butter candy. You have to have the peanut butter because if not, you're literally just eating powdered sugar. You know what I mean? Like it has to balance out the sickening sweet. And so eventually it'll start to slow the mixer down because the dough is getting heavier. Make sure it's all combined here. See how it's thickening up? Tony, what do you think? So we are going to keep adding this until I cannot stir it anymore with this mixture and I have to start stirring it by hand. And we'll be back. Not always Val. <laughs> when in doubt, just turn into Val. Are we going? <laughs> Hi. Okay, we got to a point. Tony's, this is, this is the only time he ever does it. He, you should see him pursing his lips as to not speak. <laughs> Can you tell it's him by the wheeze? Okay, so we, we, kept, we kept adding awesome. sugar until I could no longer stir it with the mixer. But you see, it's still a little shiny and it's probably still gonna need a little powdered sugar. Shiny. They were shocked at how much powdered sugar this was holding. But it's gonna hold more. So what I'm gonna do One now. One bag, seven and a half cups. Yeah, I know. So what I'm gonna do is. I'd say it was a little less than one bag. Yeah, we didn't use a whole bag. And I didn't have a whole bag to start with anyway. But again, guys, you just have to go based on how much and it also depends on like the humidity in the air. It's very strange. Um, but you just go until it's a very thick, 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 thick dough that you can knead. Can so. I try? Just, I want to feel it. Oh, oh yeah. okay. Yeah, get in there, Molly. This is like in elementary school. I'm like, and now Molly's going to okay. get in it's there. Very, what do you think? It's very, it's very, very stiff. difficult. Yeah. And see how it's still kind of dry at the same time? It's very weird. It is weird. It looks like it would be liquidy. But Tony, it's do you want to feel it? Mm -mm. You sure? I don't think I could. I don't want to break a sweat. That's true. <laughs> I would break a sweat from touching it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is clear a space. I'm going to put out some powdered sugar, and I'm going to dump it out, and then we're going to start kneading it, and I'm going to let her knead it. K-N-E-A-D. Okay, come see. Okay, I'm going to put... Lots of powdered sugar. Did you wipe your counter space? Yes, I did there? and dried it. Don't want any kitty paws. So you want this to be very powdered sugary because you don't want it to stick. If it sticks, it's not going to roll up. And actually, you know what? I probably should have put down plastic wrap, but then I'm afraid it won't roll. Okay, we're going to knead it, and then we might put down plastic wrap. So I'm going to put this down, and don't be afraid. 
You're just gonna start eating it. Like dough. Like biscuit I'm dough. I'm wash my hands again. Okay. <laughs> she's nervous, folks. No, she's not. You can't miss this candy up. This is candy for people who don't want to like boil things and get it to the hard crack stage and all that stuff. Tony, you want to give it a little taste test right now? Yeah. Okay. You may eat it. Just grab it. With your finger. What are you, a gorilla? I can't see. Oh. It's the perspective. It should taste just like nothing but sugar. But good, right? It's, yeah, it's just sugar. It's just sugar. Okay. See, I don't mind tasting a little bit of the mashed potato. I so, feel like it keeps it very... Yeah, it rings probably off. Because it'll... Don't want Tastes to a little soapy. Rings. Okay. Well, that's because no. I just washed my hands. No, but... Me. Here, give <laughs> me your hands. That. No, I touched his hand. Oh, maybe. Now rub them together. Now, just start kneading. Yeah, yeah. You can't be too rough. It's like... This, re <laughs> this really is like letting your child cook with you. Isn't it? Now start Molly, don't did you so do much, this a lot yeah. with your mother? And just start oh, yeah. kneading. What kind of stuff There you, you go, just like that. Um, cookies. Or... What kind of cookies? Chocolate chip. My mom's favorite is oatmeal raisin. Mm, oh. I love that one Peanut too. Butter. I love that one too, Gail, if you're watching. I don't think Gail's ever watched one of my videos. No, actually she has. Has she? She told me. Oh, Gail. <laughs> hey, you need more sugar? Uh, there's so much on this okay. guys. Look at Molly coming to the front. See, and a little bit of sticking, but that's okay. I'm gonna put down more there. That's fine. I'm just gonna make pizza pie. Oh, spank it, Molly. <laughs> Did you see that little mm mm? Well, <laughs> this is getting a little NC 17. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Potato. Fifty Shades of Potato. That's a movie I would go see for. Well, I know we had it. We were at the hotel, and one of those movies came on, and I was intrigued. Perfect. And Tyler was the like, "Please what? shut what? this what? off." Party foul. Oh, okay. <gasps> That's good. That's perfect. Looks and like I'm 1986 gonna... on those pants. Now what Jeez. we're gonna do? Look, this is perfect. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna spread out plastic wrap, and we are gonna roll it out, and then we'll be back. Hands I know. free of powder. Okay, ready? Okay, so we've oh, decided man. we've decided to roll it out on the board. I'm gonna roll. I'm just gonna need it a couple more times. <laughs> okay. Now, you want it to be when you roll it out. You don't want to do a round thing because then when you roll it up, then the ends become like you just have to kind of. I mean, you can still eat them, but they're not gonna have a lot of peanut butter. So ideally, you want it to be in a square or a rectangle. So I'm gonna kinda get that started, and then I'll put it down. And then I have my handy dandy rolling pin, which I never get to use, which I'm so excited. And we'll roll it out. Although I just did this at Thanksgiving. Okay, now. All right. Can you turn off that? Yeah, I was just gonna say, <laughs> turn off that the volume. volume. Turn the volume, not the, not the off. Okay, ready? We going? Yeah. Okay. Again, you cannot have too much powdered sugar. You gotta flour this because it will stick. This is the stickiest stuff on planet Earth. Enough. Okay. Now, you start rolling, and you want to keep it moving so it doesn't stick. And you want to get it very thin. I don't even really know what to tell you in terms of the thickness, but you want to keep doing that and smushing powdered sugar underneath it so it doesn't stick in the middle. And this was all handed down to me by my grandmother. Yes, that's right, except she made it differently. She made it with the actual corn syrup and boiled the candy and then made like a dough, but that was too hard for me. And then I learned that you could do it with potatoes and what is all it? she wrote. What? Oh, really? It's not always done with potatoes? You can do it with potatoes. You can do it with canned icing. You can do it with um, butter and cream cheese, but potato is my favorite. Because it doesn't, I don't know, it just has a very no, nothing taste. Like, I'll be interested to get your all's opinions on if it's better or worse than the Dollywood one. Honesty is appreciated. See how thin? Baby eight. 
Okay. Now we are going to smear peanut butter all over it. Now this part. This part. This is my favorite part. Tony's ears perked right up. Wait a second. Why don't we use the real kind? This is real. The other one. You want to use this one? The one with sugar in it. What? This doesn't have sugar. Real peanut butter. This is the same. This is just, na it's still peanut butter. But don't you like about it? He doesn't. I thought we should use Jif. I don't have any Jif. Well, that's the Jif off brand. Well, I want to use this jar up, and then whatever's left, we'll use the other. And don't be skimpy, because you. what I was telling them, this is nothing but a big bite of sugar is what you're getting. So the peanut butter really is the only flavor that you're going to taste that makes it not so sick anyway sweet. So don't be afraid to add a big old spiel here. Okay, we're going to put this on there. We're going to spread it out thin because you also don't want it to be too thick because then when it rolls up it's going to come out the sides and that's not attractive. So we're going to do that and we'll be back. Yes. Okay, the peanut butter has been spread. It might be a little thick but we'll see what happens. And you want to roll it up in the longest way that you will get the most pieces. So I'm going to roll it this way and it might crack and don't get freaked out if it cracks because it will be fine. And you just start rolling it in. Picking it up, rolling it in. See how it's kind of breaking there? It's fine because it's all going to roll together. It's like a jelly roll, a giant jelly roll. What's a jelly roll? You ever had a jelly roll? Like a donut? No, like a jelly roll cake. It's not going to be the prettiest right here, but this is going to be the middle. And see, you need to work fast. Like, I was, we were taking a lot longer because we were talking and laughing, but. The longer that you wait, the piecier that it gets. And so you don't really want it to be this smushy, but you get the idea. Yours would be softer than this because you would do it instantly. And you're going to roll it all up. We're going to do that. And then we're going to come back and we're going to put it in the fridge. But I'll show you before it goes in. And then we're going to slice it and eat it. Hmm. Now, remember, y'all, I waited a little bit too long to roll mine. So they're a little bit cracked. But if you don't wait, like if you roll it instantly and don't talk and laugh, then you'll, yours will be fine. But I promise you it will not affect the taste. So we're going to unroll this. What are you looking at? I was looking at Hungry Girl. The she, potato mix? She's eating her actual food. Oh, Angel. Not, oh, 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 well that she's, was... No, she puts it out, spits it out. It's weird. She's very weird. Not much of a cat. She does very strange things. Now, these are not going to be the prettiest. Now, aren't they supposed to be harder, though? I mean, not really. They don't really get that hard, but what we're going to do, we're going to take a taste test. They could get a little more firm than this. Yeah, how long are you supposed to leave it? I mean, just until it's firm enough to set, but I mean, they're setting. And see how pinwheel they are? Now, normally they would be a lot prettier than this, but... Oh, is this called pinwheel candy, too? Yep. Okay, Molly, why don't you just choose one? <laughs> choose one with a lot of peanut butter and give it a go. Here we go. They're very rich. <laughs> it's good. But I really... <laughs> but I can really only taste the peanut butter right now. Oh, because there's a lot of peanut butter. Okay. <laughs> I'm crying. This one has more sugar. It's good. <laughs> it's fine. I like it. Well, delete all the clips. <laughs> Uh, no, it is good. It is very. I've never good. seen now, do Tony. Tony. That was like, Tony. I've, I've had many people. I feel react like I'm on chopped. That same way. To me. I think I'm writing it up as. <laughs> okay, take the camera and let him try. All right. <laughs> oh, sorry. I feel like she just is like not groundbreaking. Not great. Okay, like Tony when I ask him how his life is going. Not great. That's what I say. It's all right. Okay. Oh, just. They're not very set, okay? No, they're not. They'll get more set in the fridge. I look like Jabba the Hutt slurping <laughs> down a snack. Like Princess Leia or Ghana. Okay, the noises? Mmm. <laughs> I don't just taste beer. What do you taste? Fudge? It is a little fudgy. Mmm, I'm trying one. <laughs> 
Paint over. <laughs> That's a lot of peanut butter. <laughs> Maybe I'm a mutant. <laughs> mm. This comes from the guy who eats a jar of it over three days. Peanut butter? Mm. See how you can't taste or smell potato at all? No, you really can't. <laughs> well, Molly hates them. <laughs> So much for that Christmas recipe. <laughs> Alright folks, make this for Christmas and your family will all leave you. <laughs> so <laughs> hope your trash can's big enough to hold it all. <laughs> Alright folks, like, comment, subscribe. I hope you'll try these on your own. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Don't I'm filming. Oh. Oh. Okay, folks. I'm just trying to go get me one. This is the day. They're delicious. <clears throat> they're not the prettiest, admittedly. But they're delicious, and I'm enjoying them from the comforts of my chair. You want a bite? So I encourage you to make these. All you need is powdered sugar, peanut butter, and potatoes. Again, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. You will get all updates from me. Um, and until next time, I'm going to give you a little shot of the Christmas tree. But first, I need a finger to turn. Uh, Queen Ripley is in her chalet, and there's the Christmas tree. This is the view. This is why people are like, why do you put up your Christmas tree so early? It's so I can sit here in the morning and look at it and have my coffee and just look at it. So that's all. Okay, bye. This is so gummy. Oh, Tony's trying one again. No, Come in I'm here. Jesus. Oh, uh, no! <laughs> Give me a napkin, please. <laughs> okay, folks, we're going to wrap it up. But we have we do enjoy them more now. How does it smell like fart? <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>